Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for September 19, 2011 on the S&P 10-day uh, chart. Looks like we're going to get a corrective 4 because um, futures are down about 16 in the S&P. So a corrective 4 would target is um, be about probably the worst, worst case scenario is that we dropped to the previous 4 around 1192 um, to 1195 in the S&P. But a 0.382 is around 1200. But since um, we don't get that many um, wave 4s, I'm guessing we might turn to a wave 2. So for now we could drop to the previous 4 in the S&P, which is around 11.95. For NASDAQ, um, I mean we closed near the highs, but uh, futures are gapping down about 27 in the NASDAQ. So we could test the previous 4 around uh, 26, around 25.70 approximately. The pre um, previous four, 0.382 would be around that same level, around 25.70, 25.80. So um, again, um, we don't get that many fours, or recent recently we don't. There hasn't been that many fours. Usually it's like one, two, three, and then wave two. So the worst thing that have this happens is it turns into a wave two. But the first layer, area of support that I look at right now is the first area of support that I'm looking at right now is around 25.70 in the Nasdaq. The Dow. Uh, looks like one, two, three, and a four would correct to as low as eleven thousand um, three hundred, eleven thousand three fifty in the in the Dow. Uh, futures are down about one hundred thirty-five, hundred fifty right now, so there's a good chance we test those levels. It's a wrap.